Perfect. Okay. Happy, uh, thankful Thursday, transformational Thursday. Today is Thursday, August 25, 2022. And today here in the Crystal Fuse community, we are talking about being an active participant in your transformation. Uh, my name is Lizelle Zeger. I am a coach, author, speaker, trainer, um, and I'm based in Kailua, Hawaii. And I'm just so, so grateful for the opportunity to be here and share about this topic. Um, this topic was inspired by a conversation I had with Kelly. She is the creator of this community and also uh, some caterpillars that I manifested. I'm actually raising butterflies and two of them turned into chrysalises this morning. So I am like, I have all of this energy of watching transformation happen, physical transformation happen before my eyes. And I'm watching these guys, they look kind of gross, but I'm watching them do their thing. And soon and very soon, they're going to emerge and be these beautiful butterflies that help our local fauna flora and give us food and so to me just watching transformation is not just for you but it's for others and it's for the community so kudos to everybody who's on this journey of transforming from who you were into who you are meant to be uh, i love being in this part of uh, transformation being the guide being the coach being the cheerleader and some of you have already personally experienced this and it's just so much fun being in the empowerment space. So with that, let's go ahead and do um, a ground and center. Let's bring us into our own energy so that we can receive the information. Whatever we gain from this, let's use this as fuel to help us keep moving forward and then to help us inspire others to move forward in their journey of making their dreams come true, becoming their best selves, releasing what no longer serves them, whatever and however that is. Maybe it's helping other people start their businesses. Maybe it's just opening someone else's eyes to what's possible. Okay, so if this is your first time doing this, I will guide you through it. Basically, you're gonna sit somewhere sturdy, so not driving, don't do this while driving, um, and you're gonna take your hand and you're going to move the flesh from under your upper thighs or butt cheek and basically give your sit bones the opportunity to carry your weight versus the muscles and the tendons and the places where an anxious energy likes to get stuck. So we're giving our bodies a break by connecting with our center. And when you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes and I will guide you through this moment into the next. So together, let's take three deep breaths in through the nose and out the mouth, just releasing. Breath number two in through the nose and sigh at the mouth. Letting yourself just drop into your center. Breath number three, inhale through the nose and hold at the top. And slowly release out the mouth. Keeping your eyes closed, allowing yourself to feel your entire being fill your physical space. Just know that any sounds are an invitation to connect deeper to yourself. Trust your process, trust your path. Trust the steps that are being laid out for you. Healing and transformation is not linear. It's time to be flexible. And it's time to be present. So breathe into your presence and through the nose. And then audible sigh, just release out the mouth. <sighs> Letting your energy come back to the surface, wiggling your fingers and your toes, coming back to this present moment. You can move your body, roll your head, move your shoulders. When you're ready, open up your eyes.
and come back to this meeting today. And go ahead and share how you're feeling in the chat. <laughs> And while you pull up the chat, I am feeling present. I'm feeling like there's less worries. There's, there's less going on up here and there's more right here. Big yawns, <laughs> more conscious, grounded and calm, perfect. Relax. I love that. <laughs> Let's see. Feel like going to the gym now for some reason. Yeah, you know what? That's that's our our infinite self speaking to us. That is inspiration. That is your body calling you to move. It's time to move. Let's go. <laughs> right? Yeah, I love it. Okay, so these calls, you guys, are not for me. They are for you. They are for the community, for the world. Take what you receive in these calls as gifts and share them, pass them around, pass them forward. They're not for you to, to write a bunch of notes in your notebook and close it and put it away and be done. No, this is not the intention of these calls. These calls are for you to open it up, use them as, um, guiding steps, um, inspiration to create from, okay? Um, and today we're looking at transformation. And I know that there's a lot of people on that spiritual journey, the transformation journey, the journey from, um, you know, what was to what will be. And today I actually wanted to share from one of my books. So if you love books, if you love uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, I am going to be referencing this book today. It's called Coming Supernatural. I've had this book for a long time. I read it a couple of times um, and now I'm at a point where I'll just open it up and then see what message is there for me that day. Um, I do that a lot with my books and I just feel like, you know, books speak to me. I read them and I learn from them. And so I'm also going to teach from them. One thing though, that I have seen um, being a coach in this space for so long is there are a lot of people who want the results, but don't wanna do the work, right? There's a lot of people who want the empowerment, the financial independence, the confidence, but they don't want to take the steps that are going to build the empire. They don't want to put the bricks down. They just wanna walk into the palace. And that's not how it works. That's it's never worked that way. But what social media has done is it has taken away the middle pieces. It has taken away the visual um, steps, the required process that is needed to get from A to Z. So now a lot of people think, oh, if I just say it, then I'm gonna get it. Like A equals Z. But what people don't realize is there's also B, C, D, E, F, G, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y in the middle. And don't be afraid of what's in between because what's in between will help you create what's at the end, right? Just like baking. Um, you get the ingredients, you have to mix them together. You have to put different ingredients in at different times and you have to put the oven on at a specific degree. If you don't do all of those things, you're just going to get something that looks weird and probably tastes weird, um, but it's probably edible. <laughs> unless you leave it in too long, okay? So I don't want you guys um, who are on the transformational journey to become a uh, burnt inedible brownie. <laughs> I want you to become a, a box of a delicious hot cookie <laughs> that brings joy to everybody and inspires people to love themselves and celebrate. That was weird, but that's basically, you know, where I want to take my people. Um, and you are my people. We are on this boat together. Okay. So I want to share with you something that I just randomly, randomly opened to earlier today. And this is about energy. Okay. So this page, if you have this book, it's on page 101. I didn't even look till now. And he talks about how energy gets stuck. 
Now, energy is everything, okay? Energy is health, energy is money, energy is love, energy is relationships, energy is vitality, it is life, it is flow. He's basically talking about the chakras here and talking about how most people, when their energy is stuck, maybe it's creativity is stuck, they're not feeling inspired, maybe they're gaining weight, they're not doing anything like crazy, but they're just gaining weight. Um, maybe they're finding themselves in toxic relationships over and over and over again. Uh, maybe they're making money, losing money, making money, losing money, and they just want to keep it. For some reason, it's just not staying. Everything's energy. Okay. And so right today, we're going to talk about these lower energy centers. If you're familiar with the chakras, this is root, the bottom, it's red. The second one is sacral, it's orange. And then the third one, which is your solar plexus, and that's yellow. So red, orange, yellow. We're, we're looking at the base because this is where energy enters through, right? From, from the bottom up, and it goes through the crown and up to the heavens. So today we're going to talk about this because there's a lot. Um, it says like most people in the world. Okay, well, most people in the world. Um, we don't have to go into detail because it's not really relevant right now but if you are somebody who's feeling stuck with like or experiencing things like sexual like anything like sexual confusion anxiety addiction depravity maybe there's pain um or trauma from you know past sexual experiences or molestation or anything like that energy tends to get stuck in the root that's the bottom. And it does not continue up into the creative uh, flowing energy. If you're experiencing emotions like guilt, shame, body pain, unworthiness, lack, or victimization, just so you know, that's the second energy center. That one is the sacral. That's orange. And then if you are feeling like having like control issues or feeling like everything is a competition, maybe you're impatient, um, having ego, you know, working with the ego, maybe the ego is trying to take over, but it's not the divine mind, it's the ego, it's the little self. Um, that is the solar plexus. And most people are stuck here. And my intention is to shine light on this so that you can help yourself and then be able to help others. And I know that if some of you are looking to create um, a new business or you are already creating a new business, or you're finishing school and you want to start your own uh, business, then it's time to get serious about yourself, yourself as the active participant in your transformation. Reading books, it's not going to do anything. You're going to have the information. It's all about that integration. How do I bring this information into my body, into my work, into what I do? That's the magic sauce, okay? It's not what's in here. It's what you do about it in your life. Does that make sense? Just type yes in the chat or nod your head. Um, let me see. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Um, so I wanted to share here. Let's see. Here it goes. It's called, this section is called drawing from our energy field. Remember, we already have everything we will ever need. Okay. We're not missing anything. The only thing missing is our awareness. That's something that I learned from Dr. Trevetti. He's my mentor. I'm going to go visit him in Chicago in September. Drawing from our energy field. When we as conscious beings activate a specific energy in our chakras, we stimulate the associated neurological plexuses. So when we, when we um, activate energy in our body, the corresponding places in our brain also activate. And it produces a level of mind that then activates the proper glands, tissues, hormones, and chemicals in the center. Okay, so this is why it's important for you, us, me, to become an active participant in our transformation, in our life, actually, because it's us doing it. It's not the book, it's not the YouTube, it's not the audio book, it's not the Kindle. It's, it's, it's us. It's our awareness doing it. So if I am experiencing... Okay. If I'm experiencing uh, guilt, shame, unworthiness, lack, victimization, it sounds like this. It's, it, it sounds and it feels like I'm not good enough. Who am I to even try to do this? I'm not that type of person. I'm not that type of girl. Um, 
I've, I've never done that. So why should I even try? Um, I, I'm crazy. <laughs> That's not what I do. I just, I just do this. Um, I don't have enough money. I can't do it because I don't have enough money. Um, everything always happens to me. Um, it sucks. I don't know what to do about it. I can't do anything about it. Um, I don't have enough friends who agree with me. I don't have enough friends who like get me. Um, I just, I really, I really want to talk, talk to that person, but I'm, I, I don't feel like I can because I'm, I, I can't like there's a wall, right? So if, if you've ever experienced that, go ahead and type a two in the chat. It doesn't have to be now. It could have been when you were a teenager. It could have been, you know, during an interview or something, or maybe you're, you're about to go live or do a reel. Um, it's okay. But what you can do is you can activate the energy in that center. So what does that look like? The chakras, here's my other book. I have a chakra healing book. If you like books, this is a good one. Um, and with the solar plexus, solar plexus, here it goes, okay. There's even a part here like how crystals, how you can use crystals for your chakras. Um, okay. Like really look at connecting with your emotions. Look at connecting with your emotions, with your creative expression. So instead of thinking, oh, no, I can't, I can't draw, um, I can't draw that Oracle deck art. Like I'm not that good. I've never done it before, so I can't. You can just focus on your energy creating from that orange space and use that energy, which is basically um, being blocked. So create a way for you to find flow. So just take your pen, maybe you're right-handed, take your pen in your left hand and start going. Start looking at nature and just what is nature's telling me and then translate it onto paper if you're an artist um look at connecting with the energy vortex within you in any color so that you can open to the wisdom that it holds again we are so powerful we were never taught this stuff uh this is where we get to learn or at least be introduced to it um when i was watching the one of the butterflies turn into a chrysalis this morning he was not, or she was not a passive just thing that was letting the transformation happen. It was doing hard work. I don't know what it was doing, but basically, and I have never experienced this before. It was so cool. Um, it's a caterpillar and it's hanging from the, like from a bar that I have in the little aquarium. And it just looked like the caterpillar was just upside down, kind of a J, but it was kind of like, it's like moving. <laughs> It wasn't really doing anything, but it was like moving. And a few minutes later, I didn't actually watch it. I caught it on time lapse. Um, it like wiggled itself, but then the skin came up to the tail. The skin of the caterpillar came up to the tail and it revealed green inside. It revealed this green chrysalis, this cocoon, this like bag. And then when it came up, the skin like fell on the floor. So all that was left was the hanging piece and the chrysalis. And for, for, for somebody who thinks that transformation happens, no, it actually happens inside. So for us, transformation happens when our thoughts change, when our perspective changes, when our beliefs change, which then our actions change. We begin to take new action that we have never done before. And because we're taking a new action, we're doing stuff inside. Maybe it's behind closed doors. Maybe it's like in your actual body where you're cha changing. It looks like poof, magic. <laughs> but it's not, okay? The, the caterpillar inside is like, I don't even know what it's doing. I can't even make it up. But the chrysalis after the skin fell down, it was also dancing. It was also like still doing something in there. So I don't know. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I um, shared the video in our Telegram chat uh, for Crystal Fuse. Um, and I just felt like it was so fitting to talk about it because 
most people think, oh, caterpillar goes into a chrysalis, becomes a butterfly. And I was teaching my kids. They, it was really cute. I took a longer video to share their, share their grandparents. And one of them, he's four years old. And he said, did the butterfly go into the chrysalis? And I told him, oh, no, he actually is the chrysalis. He became the chrysalis. And then he was inside of it somehow. And he was kind of confused. And I told him, I don't know. I'm also learning, but I know that the, that the caterpillar became the chrysalis. And you could see his little gears in his mind, like, okay, I think I understand, but I'm going to watch some more so I can fully understand. That's the space that I hope you guys are in right now is like, okay, transformation. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It doesn't just happen, but like, I have to do it, but how? If you're there, that's the perfect place. Um, what Dr. Joe Dispenza continues to talk about in this book is he says, this is about energy, the lowering frequency of the signals from the, the body and the brain, the body and the brain, the lowering frequency of the signals create disease. We could say that from an energetic level, all disease is a lowering of frequency and an incoherent message. So here's the visual for that. When we are living in our gifts, when we are living in alignment, when our mind and our body are on track, doing the same thing, this is our normal light field. This is, if you can see auras, it looks bright. It's, I don't know what color, I don't see auras, but they're, they're bright and they're glowy and they're just round. They like surround you. If your body and your mind are not connecting, if you're experiencing things like lack, unworthiness, shame, fear, trauma, all those things, just feeling blocked, your energy can look dim, dark. It's almost like your, your body is sucking the energy from around it to stay alive. This is like when we're living in survival. Okay. So it's a survival in the first three centers. Those are the first three centers I talked about diminished light field. And you'll probably, if you're an empath, if you're very sensitive to energy, if you're around somebody like this, you probably don't want to talk to them. You probably feel like, Ooh, I, mm, I don't want to hang out over there. I'm going to go talk to somebody else. If you are in the same room as somebody who's living in alignment, who's inspired, who connects with themselves, who does the work, who wants to create in this world and takes the action to create their normal light field is going to be bright and shiny. And if you saw them in a room, you would probably already be talking to them. You would be so attracted to them, make not like sexual, but like your energy will just like be magnetic and you're just going to want to talk to them. You're going to want to like be around them and they're probably smiling. So if you want to awaken the energy within you, look at bridging the gap between how you feel and how you want to feel. So how do you do that? You connect with yourself, you listen to your body, um, you, you feel what inspires you, you feel what you're guided to do. And let me give you this uh, note, take out the word should and supposed to. Okay, so like write that down, write it everywhere, write it on your arm, put it everywhere. Those two words should and supposed to get people into a lot of trouble in a way where they end up not doing what they want. They end up not doing what they're inspired and they end up wasting a lot of time, energy, and money because they think they're supposed to, or they think that they have to, or they think that they should, but there's no such thing. That's all social construct that's put into our minds. We're here to create. We're here to be. We're here to serve. That is the currency of the universe is service. So there's no should, and there's no so supposed to instead just ask yourself, what inspires me? What do I love to do? Why, why am I here on this planet? I'll tell you, it's because you're here to do things in your own way. You're here to create the, the future world. You're here to create the next economy. We're here to create the community of people who are here to connect. There's a lot of things. I won't say it, <laughs> there's a lot of things out there that are trying to separate us from each other. They're trying to keep us in our homes. They're trying to keep us from meeting in person. They're trying to 
create more and more distance from people. And I love this community because we're here to connect. We're here to bring people together. We've got Toronto, we've got Ottawa, we've got Houston, we've got Hawaii. Look, we're all here. And this is so cool. And this is just the beginning. So I want to know how you guys are doing. Type 11 and 11 in the chat if you're doing good. If you have some questions, go ahead and type them in here. This is what today is, is I want you to become an active participant in your transformation. What does that mean? It's about asking questions. It's about taking notes. It's about sharing your notes. Maybe it's just in a story. Maybe it's just in a caption. Maybe it's in a text to your friend who's going through something. Okay, see 1111 here. Good, good, good. Okay. Another thing he said I wanted to share. Oh, here. For those of you who are interested in increasing energy, so maybe you're feeling that stuckness, you're feeling that like, I'm not enough, or I'm just not inspired, and I feel stuck, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough people, I don't have enough love, whatever it is, um, I highly recommend, I, I don't have it here, but he has a meditation on YouTube, it's called uh, it's called the blessing of the energy centers meditation. So you can write that down. The blessing of the energy centers meditation. That meditation gives you the opportunity to focus on each center or chakra in your body and bring that energy there to help like revitalize it, help bring more life to it and kind of like wake it up and like, like, Tap it <laughs> awake so that you can use that energy in a creative way that serves. Okay, um, what else, what else? The other thing I wanted to share with you is if you have a business or you're looking to start one, I do have a mentorship program. There's still room for new students in there. This program is really about creating structure creating space and creating a community where we can all talk about the ins and outs of building a business. Uh, maybe it's creating uh, sales, it's creating a product or service. Um, it's creating or like recreating you version 2.0 or 9.0 or 55.0, wherever you are in your journey, but aligning your purpose with this baby, this project this business that you are creating and helping you do it in alignment with that in alignment with the universe in alignment with yourself um, and your divine mind and what your people your audience your market is looking for so if you're interested in that go ahead and connect with me you know where to find me instagram at how to manifest or in the crystal fuse community um, i'm having a lot of fun in there right now um, and let me see we have a question here oh and to follow up, this book is called Becoming Supernatural. Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. I'm, there may be audiobooks too, but I'm going to tell you this book is. Uh, there's a lot of facts in it. It's 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 very educational. It's like heavy on the education, so it's not so much like leisure reading, but it's. Oh, I just came across this. Um, it has some cool things too. Oh, I just did this this morning. I like to do walking meditations, but I'll share this with you and you can go ahead and screenshot this. Um, he says, you can add words of affirmation to remind you of who you are and what you believe about your future. So I'll read a few and then just get ready to screenshot this. So he says, the doors of dimension open to me so I may experience the mystical. My body is healing every day. I love that one. I actually teach my kids my body heals itself because it does. Um, I feel loved deeply and daily. And remember, it doesn't have to be from that specific person. You can also love yourself, okay? Be an active participant in your transformation. Wealth flows to me. Wealth is not just money, okay? But it does flow to you. It's, it's always flowing to you. It's just our <laughs> ego that wants to block it, okay? Um, look, all my needs are always met. My life partner is equal and teaches me by example. I feel more whole every day. My immune system gets stronger every day. I lead with courage in my life. I am an unlimited genius. I believe in myself. I embrace the unknown. When I call on spirit, it responds. Do you feel 
how these types of informations are more grounded than I am a millionaire. Sounds kind of empty and, and wants to go from A to, to just jump to Z. This is the, the B through Y. Okay, so go ahead and screenshot. I'll hold it up for a few seconds. I'll make sure it's um, readable. Hold on, there. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yep, so take that screenshot. Don't just save it in your photos. Write it out, speak it out, share it with somebody. Okay, this is your, this is your chance. This is your opportunity. And then just put it all together and step into that active participant role. Okay, your transformation will not happen if you're not there. Things will happen all around you, but if you don't do something inside, if you don't do something for yourself, if you don't take those actions, then nothing will come. I was uh, on a call this morning with my mentor in Florida. His name is Mark Tassoni. He wrote this book. I've shared it with a few of you already, but it's called Money Attraction Secrets. Uh, the Quantum Way to Money, Wealth, and Abundance. It's pretty cool. Um, and this morning he was, he said something very profound to me. Oh, he said, um, people, basically it's like people want money and sales move money, right? So if you're looking for money, make some sales. Duh. But what people are scared of is making sales. What people don't realize is that sales is an offer of transformation. <laughs> a sale is a way to empower somebody and give them what they need to get to that, that next step, whatever it is. Maybe you're a boba shop. Do you guys have boba or bubble tea? And you're offering boba or bubble tea. And it's like, oh, that's so stupid. But no, the person, the customer wants that, right? So you're serving them what they want. You're giving them an opportunity to choose what they want. And in exchange, they're giving you money. So in order to make more money, what's the secret? Get around more people. Get in front of people. If you want to practice mastering your energy, if you want to transform your life, get around people. People equal opportunities for you to get to know yourself, to practice focusing on your energy and mastering all of these weird, you know, things with like guilt and shame and fear and lack and victimization and all of that stuff. The more people, and I'm not saying go into a crowd, what I'm saying is have more conversations, go make new friends, go join some groups where there's people you have never met before. Go join some groups that are in cities that you don't live in. Like just go check it out online, go expose yourself so that you know exactly what you want when you see it. If you're sitting back and you're just hoping something comes along the way, guess what? You're just going to get whatever comes. You're not actually receiving what you're asking for. You're just sitting there. And a lot of people are living their life like the wallflower. And that's not why we're here. That's not why we're here. We're here to create. We're here to connect. And we're here to serve. So I want to thank you guys for showing up today. Um, I hope this information landed. I hope you take this information, um, water it, give it some sun, give it some good soil, and that you can watch it bloom as you share it with others and as you come back to it later and reshare it with yourself. Um, I will be posting this recording um, in our Crystal Fuse Telegram chat. All of my videos are hosted on YouTube, so you will have access to it forever and ever if you are in the chat, unless YouTube goes down. Um, but yeah, everything is on there. Um, feel free to share this again with anybody and everybody. We are here to connect. We are here to serve and we are here to help each other rise. So thank you. Thank you. We'll end today unless you guys have any questions um, on what I talked about. Uh, being a active participant in your transformation. Remember, this is your life, okay? And any change that you see in my life, I have done it. Any change that you see in your life, just know that you have done it and you have the power to do anything that comes to you. 
because those visions that come, they're for you. Your visions don't come to me to do, mine do. And so it's up to you to take th that, those messages, reorganize it and turn it into something that brings you joy and helps you bring joy to others. Okay. I, I don't see any questions. So I want to thank you guys. Have a beautiful Thursday evening, beautiful week. And I will see you again next week. I think that is September 1st. And I love you all. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.